going to go to our website, freeemulator.com, to download the Super Nintendo emulator called ZSNES for Windows. Go ahead and click on Windows. Scroll down to Nintendo SNES and click on it. Now we'll go ahead and click the Download Now button for ZSNES. Save the file to the hard drive. I already have a folder for it. Save it. As soon as it's done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and close out of Firefox. Open up the Free Emulator folder. We Save it to. Drag it over here real quick and resize the window. We'll right click and extract here with WinRAR. And then we'll run the exe file. Let me close out of the folder real quick to get it out of the way. We'll go ahead and config the video first to make it the resolution we want. I'm going to choose 1280 by 960. You want one with the D for filters. It'll allow filters, and then the W will allow it to be still in the window instead of full screen. If you want the full screen mode, you'll, you'll do one that has an F on it. So now we'll get this repositioned real quick. Configure the filters. I like to use the high quality filter, the HQ filter, and put on three times. That'll make the video look smoother and kind of update the 16 bit graphics. Game, you can go to load for your ROM, run, reset. You can set your save state options here. You can quit if you'd like. Config, we'll go ahead and go to input. Here's where you can configure your keyboard or a gamepad for your controller. I like to use the Xbox 360 controller myself. Go back to config. You've got sound options. You can disable emulation, enable sound, change the frequency to all sorts of different settings here. The default's 32,000 hertz. Um, let's do the rest as it is. Cheat, you can add cheat codes if you want to make the game easier. Net play, you can play online with your friends if you want. Miscellaneous, go to miscellaneous keys. Here's all the hot keys that the emulator uses. Some of them you'll probably want to memorize, but I'm not going to worry about them too much right now. And that's about it. That's all you really need to configure. You can go to game and load to load your ROM, and then you're good to go from there. One thing real quick about freeemulator.com, we only host emulators, we do not host ROMs. If you'd like to get ROMs, I suggest just doing a Google search. If you have any suggestions or questions, please leave a comment.